Now, how do you start the flame on a dual fuel Coleman camp stove? Well, we're gonna find out. This is a camp stove 424. Coleman makes a series of different camp stoves. They've made them for many, many years, and this one is still being made today. Now these little stoves are my favorite camping stoves of all time. They run on white gas. You can run them on gasoline. That's why they're advertised as dual fuel. And yes, it is gasoline that you would use in your automobile, but I've always used white gas and that's what we're gonna run it on today. That entire gallon of white gas cost me $6.99. So it is extremely cheap and that's why I like it. Uh, so basically what we're doing here is we're opening up the wings. These are wind blockers, so they will help block the wind as you're using your stove. They're also adjustable. They can be brought in or out, and I usually just leave them about there. Inside, you're gonna see a gas tank, and this is the gas tank here. It's very simple how this works. You just put it in place like this. And I also keep my funnel down inside, so you obviously wanna remove that as well. Now, without going into too much detail, I do wanna give you a little bit of the fundamentals of how these operate so you understand what's going on as you're lighting it. So this is the fuel tank. This is where you put your fuel. There's a little valve here on the side and you flip this up to start it. After a minute, you flip it back down. We'll talk about why in a second. There is your control knob here. This increases the flame when you turn it counterclockwise and it decreases the flame when you turn it clockwise. And then there is a pump, yes, a pump on the end. Now this pump also has an incorporated valve and to use this pump, you need to open that valve up. To open the valve, you rotate this knob counterclockwise, one full turn, and now you're ready to pump the gas tank up. To do that, you pull back on the plunger, put your thumb over the hole and you shove the plunger down. You're gonna take your thumb off the hole again, pull back on the plunger and shove it down. You're going to do this about 30 times and then rotate that valve clockwise so you shut the valve off. You wanna make sure this little valve is in the up position when you're initially starting. Now what this does is it pulls the vapor off the top of the gas tank and feeds your burner. Once you get this tube hot, you wanna put this lever down. And what that does is the heat will vaporize any fuel in this tube and then you can continue on cooking. So it's very important to turn this knob up get it started, and then after about a minute, turn the valve back down, and then you continue using this as you need it. So let's go ahead and start it. I recommend opening this knob right around two times or a time and a half. So there's one, there's two. We're gonna go ahead and light it. And you can see what it's gonna do is heat up this tube right here. You give it about one minute, and then you can turn this knob back down. Now it's been about one minute, and we're going to turn this valve straight down and it'll eventually clean itself up. The flame will get bluer and bluer and you can adjust it as you need it. And now this guy is pretty much ready to cook on. This particular model has a second burner and it has a valve off to the side. The way that works is the same thing. You turn this counterclockwise to open it up, light it, and now you have two burners that you can cook on. Now the burner on the left is a little bit smaller than the burner on the right. It physically looks the same size, but the rings are a little bit shorter. It doesn't burn as hot. So typically I use this one as a warmer and I use this one to get the cooking done. Filling the tank is pretty easy. They've made it so that when you put it on its side, it stays in this upright position. You can use a funnel and fill it with white gas. It's a little tough to overfill because there's a solid tube that goes down to right about there so that you always have an air cavity in it. If you have a newer one, you'll have a funnel that looks like this, and you can drop that in there. When you fill it, the way the funnel's made, it kind of has a funny looking spout down in there. Uh, once it starts to not take any more fuel, it'll kind of stop. You can pull the funnel out and the rest of the fuel in the funnel will fall back in there. That way you know you have it at the right level. These camp stoves will last a lifetime. That's a fact. There's really not much maintenance to them. You keep them clean. Sometimes these tubes you have to pull apart and clean them up, but for the most part, they're gonna last your lifetime. Take care of them and they will take care of you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos and at the very least, you might be entertained.